Hello, I'm Inventor Dan Zen, and I'd like to introduce you to Robin, a Flash PHP multi-user system. Available at robinflash.wordpress.com. Robin's part of a group of open source Flash classes available at flashfeathers.wordpress.com. And these do advanced interface uh, techniques like uh, motion capture, tilt technologies, multi-touch, sound frequency, etc. Robin has two parts, Flash and PHP. On the PHP side, once you download the zip file, you drop the PHP files onto your server and run the index page, which will lead you to an admin. The admin has a password of egg. You can change that in the setup.php. So we put in egg and you basically start Robin. So we've already started Robin. Robin's already running. You can get a Robin status that tells you how it's doing. There is a debug log as well, but hopefully you won't need that. So that's the PHP side. On the Flash side, here there are samples that are provided and you get to see the, the code. Um, the samples each have a document class and they do a, something a little bit different, each one of them. Um, then there's the Robin class and that's what the samples are calling. The only thing you need to update in the Robin class is the IP address to your server and then you'll be doing all the code in your document class uh, in Flash, so there's no PHP coding at all. Let's take a look at a simple chat called float chat. I'll open this up in a new window and bring that in there like so. So we type in Dan Zen and we say Oops. <laughs> Hello! Or help. <laughs> help, world. Hello, world. <laughs> Hello, work. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> These typos. Hello, work. Oh, no. And we submit. And Dan Zen says, Hello, work. Let's open up another one. Float chat. Open up a new window. And you can see that. Let's just pull up the both of them. That this new one that pulled up has a history file. It uh, it found out what was already said in the chat, and we can log in or sign up or whatever as uh, audience. That can be you, and the audience says hello back or uh, whatever comes out of my typing. Hello, and we submit, and there we go. On the other one here, uh, it now says hello. So what's happening is Dan Zen, uh, a name property is set, and this is on the flash side, a name property is set and a text property is set. And I can read everybody else's, everybody else who's in the room, name property and text property. So here's audience coming in and they said hello. That comes in as an array. There would be an array for the names and an array for the text. That's really all there is to Robin on the Flash side. So it's not, uh, there aren't any predetermined um, uh, rooms and lists and all this kind of stuff that some of these systems are set up with. You set properties and you get other people's properties. There's no server-side scripting necessary. The you know hundred line of code, the hundred lines of code that was uh, needed to set up how that works. It's quite complex. is all done for you. It's just uh, using the Robin class on the Flash side. Let's take a look at um, a few other examples. Here's a shared ball, and we'll open this up in a new window as well. And in comes a ball, and let's get another one too. Shared ball, open in new window. Doo -doop, doo -doop. Two balls, and where's my other ball? That's one ball, two balls, uh, one ball, two ball. There we go. Now, this is a little bit different in that everybody who is joined is sharing the same ball. 
and all we're doing is we're getting the latest updated property so the ball is always set to the latest updated X and Y uh, regardless of who's controlling that so that's much like the flash media servers shared remote object but the power of Robin is not to do that the power of Robin is although I should have a caveat there uh, that has been able to you know we've been able to do that quite easily with the flash media server uh, and it does have a lot of uses in collective control and I've been doing a fair bit of experimentation with that but uh, the power of Robin is uh, it can do that but that it gives you unique control so in this example love it's like an avatar a multi-user game and let's open this up in a new window Do, 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 do. Take my hand, my love. So I can control the boy, but I cannot control the girl. And let me open up a new window here. Uh, open link in new window. Yeah. So this is a second one now. And we'll find that first one. And <laughs> I'm not sure why it's doing this on me. I can't seem to get both these windows up here very easily. Uh, until I put them both down. <laughs> I think that Firefox has a, a little bit of an issue or something at the moment. Okay, so there are uh, the two. Here's the boy operating, and here's the girl operating. And when uh, people operate them together, uh, and their hands touch, then a, a heart will come. I can't seem to operate them together and it doesn't work if the hands touch and the other one's not operating. So we need two people to play this uh, short, quick, multi-user game. And again, we've got unique control there. This is fairly difficult to do um, if you have to do the back end or the socket server uh, and back end coding. But Robin uh, gives you both of those things. So please come take a look at uh, robinflash.wordpress.com. If you're using this for commercial purposes, you are welcome to donate. Also, if you're using it at all, uh, please add your link and we'll add you as a friend or if you're writing about it, blogging about it, etc. Uh, come explore the other Flash feathers as well and uh, we hope you enjoy. I'm inventor Dan Zen. This has been Robin, Flash multi-user, Flash PHP multi-user, available at robinflash.wordpress.com.